double spade cast incorporates three of the basic principles that we'll use in all of our spade casting. The setup, the 180 degree D loop, and the forward casting stroke. Let's break these principles down one at a time. This D loop has to be 180 degrees opposite of that direction in order to get the perfect load on the rod. One of the ways to accomplish that, you make our setup, 45 degree angle, 180 degrees, stop the rod right there. If the rod stops right here, I'm going to come forward right here. That's Remember, after that initial roll out over the water, Amy, form that oval. As soon as the line rolls out on that water and touches down or kisses the water, she's in her forward casting position. She's watching for that line to come down, touch the water for a second, and boom, she fires out that forward cast. The kiss or touchdown point is our anchor for the cast. If we don't have a touchdown point or a kiss on the water, we're not going to be able to load our rod. It's absolutely essential the timing of this cast is proper. 45 degrees up, slightly pointed to my bank, my body's twisted about 45 degrees. I'm simply going to keep this rod tip at this plane, untwist my body, and a nice smooth motion. You can see how the line lays down. It's kind of a large U with the leader and the fly right in front of me and the line coming around in a U until it connects with the tip of the rod. That's the perfect setup. When I make my snap T, everything, my line, leader, and fly land upstream for me. And when I make my sweep, as I bring my line around on the sweep, my line, my leader, and my fly are all in a straight line with my D loop. This is what gives the cast the ability to shoot out over the water. Today these rods are so different that it's like driving a 1930s car and then getting into a 2003 Lamborghini. 